Today, we're going to focus all of our attention on our thoughts. Thoughts are energy and thoughts are powerful. I have often referred to them as your superpower. But let's take all the knowledge from the previous 41 videos and pull it all together so that you can put your thoughts to work for you. Are you ready? When you were younger, did you wish that you had a superpower? I know I did. I absolutely wanted to be invisible. I thought it'd be so cool to sneak around and see what everybody was doing without being caught. And if you look at the movies, you'll see that there are so many superpower movies that you can watch. Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, Aquaman, the clash of them all. And I think that our society has become so attached to these movies because on some level, we all fantasize and wish that we had some type of superpower. So I am super excited that you are here right now at this point in the course, because hint, hint, you do have a superpower and your superpower are the thoughts that you tell yourself. Would you be surprised to know that you have about 40,000 thoughts a day? 40,000 thoughts. That means that by noon, you've probably had about 20,000 thoughts. And most of them, of course, are there to help us navigate through our world. Like turn right on this street because the traffic is heavy and you don't want to get stuck. Or don't forget to stop at the store for milk. And oh yeah, I better get a birthday card for my mom. But a lot of our thoughts are ones that we have held onto for a long time to remind us who we are in the world. And we've had a lot of life. So we have a lot of these thoughts and a lot of them don't serve us. For example, you better not say anything in that meeting. What if they ask you a question you can't answer? You're not the smartest one in the room. Or I'll bet my friend canceled plans with me this weekend because I'm always so depressed. But then again, my life sucks and nothing good ever happens to me. And I'm just unlucky. Oh, so many thoughts. And what are our thoughts? They are streams of energy flowing out of our consciousness. Like who cares that no one hears them but me, but that might be true. But we've already talked about mirror neurons and what you think is true becomes your reality. And the thoughts are energy, so they have to go somewhere. They go into the universal consciousness and they affect everyone. Don't even get me started on quantum physics and the slit experiment where the observer changed the results. And I showed you physical evidence in my green bean seed experiment. And this is why your thoughts are your superpower, because your thoughts become your reality good or bad. And when you pair them with an emotion, they gain even more power. And it doesn't matter if that emotion is love or hate. The universe is only reading one thing. It's reading the energy. And I think that there are a lot of spiritual teachers who want you to meditate. And then they tell you to just simply change your thoughts. And they've had some success. And there are some evidence that this can be done with the differences in brain scan and scanning images. But I think that most people are going to fall short, either because they could not consistently sustain the meditation or because their brain worked against them when they pulled the plug on the familiar thoughts that sent dopamine and serotonin into the body. But I feel like knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you understand why you have the thoughts you have, then it becomes easier to examine them and to ultimately change the ones that you've been holding onto that are holding you back. So are your thoughts mostly based in truth or with the reality that you have now? And we spent a lot of time in module one, talking about the life that you created and how now that you know that how life really works, you can see how the things that happened in your childhood were actually by design to help you learn the skills or the lessons that you would need to become the person that you wanted to be 
to learn these lessons and have your experiences that your soul wanted for it to grow and evolve. And that means that if things weren't really being done to you, they were being done with a purpose for you. And even if someone executed free will, and that was not in the original plan, you knew all of the potential variances that could happen and that you might experience with an interaction with another soul. You are not, and you have never been a victim. And now you understand that your soul can't really be hurt. And so you have so much help from your spirit team, angels, passed away loved ones, guides, ascended masters like Jesus and God, which means that you are never alone and you are loved beyond any measure you could understand. You have the tools to help you with your attitude and you are no longer holding yourself back. You can see the beauty and the strength of who you are, and you can fully understand and embrace the love you need to have for yourself. You understand who the players are in your life and how free will changes the game. You know that there is more to your life than meets the eye, and it's time to figure out what your soul's purpose is in this lifetime. And with all this knowledge comes the ability to finally let go of the thoughts that put limits on your expansion and growth. You are in that driver's seat. Look at your list. Have you noticed that there is one limiting thought that keeps playing in your mind? Now that you've examined it and with your new perspective, is that thought really still true for you? I'll bet it's not. So how could you change it to make it true? What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to imagine that you have this wagon that's attached to you. And when you have a thought that no longer serves you, I want you to imagine pulling that thought out of your mind and examining it because it's not true. And how could you actually change that limiting thought into something that would empower you and that is true? Take that old thought and throw it back on the wagon. Put the new thought in. And then the beauty of imagining this wagon with these old thoughts is that as you get to the end of your day and you can see how those thoughts no longer empower you, you can simply release that wagon and push those thoughts away from you. And this is the tool that you're going to use that will help you create the awareness of what those thoughts are. Remember the download that I explained to you? Well, these are mints. And these are mints that can be purchased at probably any store anywhere in the United States. Every gas station, every convenience store, every grocery store has these mints. They come in lots and lots of different flavors. And there's probably one that you will like. And I want you to go and pick up a box of these mints. And then at the beginning of your day, I want you to begin to notice the thoughts that you have that no longer serve you. If you're telling yourself that there's something you can't do, you have to eat a mint. If you're telling yourself that you're stupid or you're worthless or your life isn't going the way that you like it, these are all things that you have the ability to change. And then by the end of the day, hopefully you'll have a few mints left in here, but maybe by noon you've eaten them all. So a box of these mints are going to be about 120 calories. And Worst case scenario is you wind up with really, really good breath, but this is a tool for awareness and it takes about 21 days to change a habit, but this shouldn't be super hard for you anymore because you're not just taking some thought that you've been attached to for a long time and changing it because you think it doesn't serve you. You now have a different perspective and you understand that the thoughts that you may have been holding on to aren't true because your perception of them doesn't align with the thoughts that you've been telling yourself for a really long time. So I really think that if you can take this challenge and make this effort, it's worth getting rid of these thoughts that you've been repeating in your mind and going over for a long time that no longer serve you. 
it still might not be that easy to just snap your fingers and change your thoughts, even if you're beginning to believe that they're no longer serving you and they're not for your highest and greatest good. But I have an idea that I think is going to help you in the next video. So this is all about empowerment. You have the power. Your thoughts are your superpower because you are the only one creating those thoughts. And at any time, you have the ability to change your life by changing the thoughts and leaving the thoughts behind that no longer serve you. I believe in you and I know that this is something that you can do.